Servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. I want to continue my reports about the incident on the Greek island uh, of Lesbos that's uh, very close actually to Turkey. And um, I have found a very worrisome, very troubling interview with um, a woman called Rebecca Sommer. Uh, this interview is um, published on the blog Tichy's Einblicke. Yeah, Mr. Tichy is a um, liberal German, so not the US version of the uh, word lib liberal, but he is a, a classical liberal, I would say. Anyway, so um, this is a very, very troubling interview because um, Mrs. Sommer, who is um, at the moment on that same island, is reporting. She is reporting mainly about things she heard when she talked to Greek inhabitants of that island and what they have to say about um, the travelers that are <laughs> in that camp or that used to be in that camp there um, that are now practicing some wild camping there and um, especially German NGOs that are active around that island. So uh, first of all I have to say I didn't know that person before. I looked it up. It seems like she used to be a activist who was yeah or who was helping these travelers and um, yeah now she has seen too many things and now she's very critical of um, these migration streams and um, yeah so this interview or what she says is about um, the incidents there like who set the fire and um, yeah, about the whole situation on the island how these how these strangers are behaving towards the police there towards the indigenous greek population of the island uh, so uh, there are many many aspects to this interview and in this video i want to break down or uh, mention in english for you the most important parts so uh, first of all um, she said that um, right before this incident happened there were a lot of German activists seen on the island that um, yeah, newcomers basically that nobody has seen before there and they were holding up signs saying Germany must take in these people yeah and um, next thing that that happened yeah? And, uh, but what is more important is that the people from the village, uh, and this village is called Moria, so the camp is called Moria too, the, the village is on a little hill and you can see the camp from the village. And she said, and once again I say, I, I don't know if it is correct what she said or if it's correct what she heard, this is just what she allegedly or what she claims to have heard from villagers who live there, that they saw that um, inhabitants of that camp together with German NGO members were setting these fires okay this is what she reports and that is quite an accusation I have to say if that were true that is absolutely insane uh, I find it plausible I find it believable I mean these activists want these people to come to Germany so they have a motive and uh, I mean these these Antifa guys these left-wing guys they have shown many times before that they don't really uh, respect the law that uh, they are uh, yeah, not peaceful at all and uh, it it sounds believable I'm just saying it I don't know but it sounds believable but the fact that nobody is really investigating these claims yet is really troublesome also like in the German media you always hear well we don't really know what happened we don't really know who it was but that really doesn't matter now what matters is now that these people need to go to Germany uh, that is all they write but what um, Mrs. Sommer here uh, claims um, or what she has heard is uh, yeah it's absolutely outrageous and uh, then she goes on to say that um, a German NGO has been spotted or, or is active around this island 
and that they are actively engaging in human trafficking. They are illegally handing out passports to many foreigners there, trying to get them to Western Europe with these passports, with these fake or with these, yeah, with these documents um, that they give them illegally. And then also they are said to engage also in the trafficking of illegal substances and that they would use these travelers to basically be the transporters for their substances that they smuggle into Western Europe like that. That is also quite an accusation, I have to say. Again, I think it's plausible. I think it's believable. I think it should be at least a basis for investigations. But these NGOs are not investigated by our authorities. They are supported in everything by our authorities. That is really quite troublesome, I have to say. This, is, this should worry all of us. Um, these NGOs have to be stopped or they have to be investigated at least. If, if only half of what she claims is true, that <laughs> they, should be, they should be declared criminal organizations and uh, yeah, they, they should be put on trial. That is very, very clear. So what else does she say? What else do the people on the island of Lesbos, what do they say about this? Well, they say first of all, that not many people come from the Levant and anymore. Many of them or most of them are coming from Africa now. And she also says that they wear um, yeah, expensive sneakers, that they have fresh and um, stylish haircuts and uh, wear brand clothes and that they are very aggressive towards the indigenous population, towards the Greeks and towards law enforcement also. They um, also have attacked or harassed firefighters before because this was not the first time that fires broke out of course and they have harassed them before but this time they have really in a unprecedented manner she says attacked the firefighters and this is something that i already mentioned in a previous video um yeah these these uh, travelers these irregular tourists, travelers, however you want to call them, they attack the firefighters. And that's really, uh, that's almost evidence for me, I would say, um, uh, to, to assume or to state that they were the ones who set those fires. And it was also clearly visible, she said, that the fires broke out at the same time on many different points of the camp and that um, the inhabitants of the camp already had their stuff packed. So all the luggage was packed and they were ready to go and they knew that they had to leave the camp. So th this is now evidence. This is now what the inhabitants of the village that is next to the camp, this is what they reported. This is what they have seen. So we know this now, okay? And uh, the German media is acting as if it wasn't the case or as if we don't know. So they, they play dumb, basically. They say, oh, we don't know anything, so, but uh, that's not important. We have to focus on what's important now, and that is helping those people. So they're not even interested in investigating anything here. And um, to me, that just means that the people who are coming into Western Europe now are a bunch of arsonists. That's what, that's what they are, huh? Um, they are criminals. Um, if these stories are true, they are criminals. Um, they are aggressive and they don't respect us. They don't respect the law. They don't come because they are persecuted somewhere. They come because they want to yeah, have a easy life and other people have to go to work for them. That is their goal and they are uh, more than willing to use violence in order to get what they want. That is the situation right now. Uh, and um, it was also an interesting detail, I think. So many people are probably familiar with the cliche uh, from the USA, these uh, black welfare queens, you know, with their wigs and their uh, hair extensions and their and their fake fingernails and um, that they spend welfare money on these expensive beauty products. Well, uh, technically beauty products. I don't think it makes anybody beautiful. It is just a farce. Uh, they are, they, they look like clowns. They look like cir circus freaks, actually. 
And uh, she said that there are African women sitting in that camp that look exactly the same way. So they have these wigs, they have these fake uh, um, um, fingernails. And uh, yeah, th th I mean, this is not how people look like who are um, afraid uh, of something or who are um, yeah, fleeing their country because they're politically oppressed or something. Come on, this is a joke, yeah? These are welfare queens, and um, if they're not U.S. American ones, then they're African ones. It doesn't matter, right? Um, same thing. And um, what else was in the interview? Let me think a bit. Um, yeah, so another point was that the what actually sparked this unrest or, or what, what uh, maybe uh, was the... the um, stick that broke the camel's back however you want to call it was that um, this Chinese affliction that goes around the world at the moment why we are all wearing masks right was uh, uh, some inhabitants of this camp were diagnosed with that actually they were tested positive for that and that meant that they would have been quarantined there and uh, they didn't care and they just wanted to leave the camp and some some of them did and uh, that is something that sparked a little outrage there. And then some people in the Western media, they heard that story and they said, oh, the, the, the inhabitants of the camp, they panicked because they were afraid of this disease and this is why they, they wanted to leave the camp and this is why this happened. No, 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 no. She actually said that, yes, the people who were diagnosed positively, they were violent and they didn't uh, respect um, the, the medical staff and what they told them to do but also the other inhabitants of the camp they were not afraid of this disease in the least they were given a lot of free masks but they never wore them they, they were only wearing them when a uh, german or western tv uh, team was there a tv camera was there then they were wearing the masks but at other times they were not wearing them at all that means they don't care they don't care about this thing yeah this, this is and and they they don't even use it as an excuse it's so funny it's the western media that puts that in their mouth it's the western media that uses these excuses for them these uh, africans they don't even have to to make up excuses because the western media is doing it for them yeah <laughs> so the the western media completely speaks for these people it's absolutely amazing what is going on here. All right, so let me know what you think about that. Um, if you speak German, you can um, look at the full interview. I link it down below. And um, yeah, I think um, that was it from my side for the time being about this um, story. If something changes or some new information comes to light, I guess I will make another video, but that's it for the time being. So to sum up, really, really hardcore troubling um, uh, allegations or, or uh, reports that are coming from the island of Lesbos. Uh, that means German NGOs were actively torching that place in order to, to get these people into Germany. Absolutely insane. All right. Catch you guys again soon. Servus, Kameraden.